Hi, my name is Henry Gaudnes and today I'm going to show you guys uh, Interactive Center Business Manager Agent Overview, also known as ICBM. Um, so Agent Overview, why? Um, well, this is a very popular view to be able to see the activities of all your all your um, agents uh, in a work group. So it's very simple, all your agents that sit in a work group, I can look at stats about them in one overview. So let me go and show you guys this in a, in a, in a Business Manager uh, and how to set this up. Okay, see you in a live environment. Okay, so as you can see here, we're in Business Manager. And uh, to add a new view to Business Manager, this is just the first time you open Business Manager, it usually shows us until you set up views. So I'm going to click on New, and I'm going to click on, um, it adds the views for me. And I'm, of course, under my group by, I would set up the pro products, and then look for Supervisor, because this is where all my Supervisor views will be set up in. So I'm going to go down here the list and yes my agent overview, click on OK. The first thing it usually asks me is which work group um, do I want to add uh, in overview. So I can look at all my agents for a specific work group in overview. Okay, And, and I'll come back to this because uh, there's another way you can also do this. But first let's do this. Let's say this is my work group. I click on next. It's going to ask me which work agents do I want to add for this work group overview. I can now at this point select only certain ones by holding in control and then selecting those ones or I can just say add them all because I want to look at all of them so click on next the next field it's asking me is intervals so intervals is our time period so we have a current period we have a previous period we have a current shift and we have a previous shift so current period in our system is in half an hour so every half an hour that will show you now stats and then, of course, if I click on previous hour, those will show me the previous half an hour stats. And the same goes for my shifts. The current shift times, now it's shift, previous shift. So if I don't work shifts, I don't have to add the shift times to my view. Um, in other words, I can just go like this and remove my shift times, and now I only will see current and previous um, um, periods. Down here is my Q statistics. What stats do I want to look at f about my agents? So as you can see, as you go down the list, it actually shows you a little explanation uh, of each one of these and what they will show you. Um, so you just choose whatever stats that you want to look at for your agents, and then you can add those stats again by holding in control. You can select and then say add, or you can just say add all, depending on what you want to do. Just one thing about these stats, for every um, stat I add down here, it's going to have a period attached to it, meaning if I have an interaction received, I'm going to have a current interaction received current period, interaction received previous period. I'm going to have an interaction onset current period, interactions received previous period in my view. So just keep, keep that in mind, for the more information I add here, the more stats is going to uh, start appearing within my environment. So now that I'm done, I can click on finished, and of course, there we go, it builds my view for me. As I was saying, here's my agents, and here's my current received, current period, induction received, previous period, inductions answered, current period, and so on and so forth, and as the stats goes all the way to that side. Um, now at this moment, I'm only looking at all of these agents for this work group. Remember I said I will come back to this, I can also go and say, you know, show me another work group name and it'll just show me that work group. but I can also do this all objects so that all objects allows what it does now you see it adds these little arrow heads next to every user so what it does now it's going to show me all of these users work groups they belong to so I click on it, it says hey Adam Gonzalez belongs to all of these work groups and there's his stats for all those work groups and the same goes for all my other uh, users if I also do change this to, let's say, a, a work group that I know these guys do not belong to, they're still going to show me this, but all that's going to happen is no stats are going to appear for these agents because they don't belong to that particular work group. So there's no stats that are going to be updated for these agents because they don't belong to that work group. So you can either just look at these agents in a specific work group, then it's going to only show me this work group stats for these agents, or I can look at them all objects and then it's going to show me all the work group stats for that agent in here. While I'm in here I can also change and or add and remove any of these fields by right clicking in here and then it says add and remove agents or add and remove statistics. Let's go to the statistics first. 
If I do this, it's going to bring me back to this page where I can add some more stats here or I can add periods up here. Let's say I also want to add health time. I click on that, I add it. And if I click on OK, immediately it will update my view now with health times as well. So I've got my received answered. Answered. If I go to the other side, I might see all my health times there. And I can also do that with users. I can right click and re add and remove agents and say I don't want to see this and this agent. I remove them and I click on OK. And voila, those two agents are now not in my view anymore. So as simple as that, that is how easy it is to add or overview for agents and what stats you're going to see about them. Okay guys, so stick around for some more just in time videos and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.